I'm Courtney, and I'm the founder of Confused to College Ready. With over 15 years' experience as a mental health therapist turned school counselor, I am bringing my experience and expertise to help you navigate the college search experience. My goal is to serve students and their families and unlock the secrets to college searching. Stay tuned. I hope everyone has had a wonderful start to your school year, that you enjoyed the summer and that things are going incredibly well. As we are nearing the first wave of ed early admission and looking at different colleges and looking at the different things that are happening as you look at your college search and your college application process, I really wanted to take some time and talk with you about what do colleges look for in an application? So as you look at the different pieces, or you might hear from friends who are saying that they want to learn about the college process, or they're telling you what they are working on for college applications, it can end up feeling kind of overwhelming that you wonder, what all do I have to get completed? There are the applications themselves. You're looking at GPA. You're looking at the possibility of tests, personal statements, supplemental essays, what are my extracurricular activities? I don't know what I want to major in. How do I figure out what the requirements are? And then when I take those tests, do I actually send them in or not? And so there are a lot of pieces to look at when you are evaluating what to you need to, what colleges are looking for with that application. There was a quote that I was looking up and David Viscott said, your ultimate goal in life is to become your best self. Your immediate goal is to get on the path that will take you there. And I think that is so fitting as we look at the college search because a lot of our students have multiple goals ahead of them and then they're, but they're steps. So we're not going directly from high school graduation into that major. I'm sorry, into that career, we're looking at a college major, we might be looking at several different steps on that path. And so what I want to do is talk about how you can put your best foot forward in that college search and with your applications. For those of you that don't know me, I'm Courtney, I am the founder of Confused to College Ready, and I am so excited that you are joining me and taking time to get to know me and our Confused to College Ready process. I have, for those of you that are not familiar, I have a background in clinical counseling as well as in being a school counselor. And I currently work in a brick and mortar school and I also have worked in a virtual setting. So I have almost 17 years of experience between those two areas and I am super excited to chat with you all. So today, as we talk about submitting that application, I'm going to assume that you have researched colleges and that you feel confident with your list of colleges, whether that be safety, whether that be match schools, or whether those be schools that are a little bit more of a reach. So I am going to assume that you've done some of that research. If you haven't and you're not sure about what you want to include with in your college list, I would encourage you to go back and listen to episodes 63 and 64 of the Confused to College Ready podcast because we are trying to make sure that we have a lot of information for you about making some of those decisions. So we're going to cover four points. I might get to a fifth one. We'll see how we're doing with time, but I want to make this as just as smooth as possible. So the first thing as you are looking at creating that list and knowing what colleges are looking for in your application, you want to find the right fit. That goes back to the range of safety, match, and reach. But not only are colleges looking to see if you're a good fit for them, I want you to make sure that you are a good fit for that particular college. That makes a big difference. Is it somewhere that you can see yourself? Is this something that you feel like you're going to be happy at that on that campus, that you're spending a sig pretty significant amount of your life over the next two to four or even more years if you are looking at pursuing above and beyond that bachelor's degree. So looking at the fit, you want to make sure that that is something that you are confident with as you take those next steps. And having that good fit, there are quite a few factors that go into what's going to be a good fit. So again, episode 63 and 64, I also am going to talk in future episodes about your college roadmap, the steps that you need to take each year, as well as how to prioritize those college criteria. 
So we want to find the right fit. The next thing that colleges are looking for is going to be your course, your courses that you have taken, your grades, and that class rank. So that difficulty level of the classes that you have taken. Now, I'm not saying that you have to apply to an Ivy League school. I'm not saying that you have to apply to a super competitive school. You need to find the right fit, but your courses, GPA, which GPA comes from grades, that was also included in those last couple of episodes, an explanation of GPA. So you want to make sure that you are putting forth your best effort across the board in all of your classes. Now, if you're a senior, a lot of those classes are done. And so colleges are looking at your historical grades and what you've done. They're also looking at the classes that you are taking this year and making sure that you have a um, that you are giving your best effort in the next um, in these next courses and find, finishing out your senior year on a strong note because they will go back and look at that final transcript to make sure that your grades are that you have stayed on top of things. So looking at courses, the difficulty level, and we have some episodes about that, but you're looking at, are you taking college prep level classes, honors level courses? Are you looking at AP, dual credit, IB classes? Some of that's going to depend on what your school offers, but some of that is also going to make a difference as far as what courses you are taking. There is also a very healthy balance, and so we've talked about that before, and I know that I will talk about it again in future episodes of what level of difficulty is right for you. So I'm not saying go out and you have to take all AP, all dual credit, all IB courses. You've got to figure out the right match for you, but that is something that colleges are going to look at. So the next piece that colleges are looking at would be your test scores. So are, you, are the colleges test optional? Are you going to be able to, are you looking to super score your test scores, whether that be ACT or SAT, submitting that information to the college and making sure that you have exactly what you need to be able to be successful. And so some of that is looking at what is the college their average incoming test score for their previous incoming freshman class. So that can give you an idea of where your test scores fall and where you want to um, focus your time if you're going to test again. And if you're a senior, there are still several different test sessions that are available that you could go ahead and try to take the test. You want to make sure that you are going to meet the deadlines for your college. So that definitely is something that you want to take a look at. Then colleges are going to be looking at you as a person. So what is your character? What are the activities that you're involved in? Are you going to be writing personal statements? Are that those, um, if it says optional, I would say go ahead and write a statement for that. It doesn't have to be, you know, that you are spending hours and hours on it, but you want to put your best foot forward in that statement. What do your letters of recommendation say? As you are completing the application part, and maybe you're discussing what your extracurricular activities have been, tell a story about what you did. Not necessarily just listing, I was a part of this, I was a part of this, I was a part of this. But when you can describe what you what those activities were, what did you do that makes you stand out? How did you show leadership potential? Were you able to have some times where you coordinated an event, where you facilitated conversations, that you took on some leadership, or that... Give numbers if there is something specific. So maybe you coordinated a fundraiser or a food drive for um, getting ready to go into the holiday season. And so how many groups or how many people did you coordinate? How did you collaborate as a team? So giving some specific explanations. So colleges want to know not just what you did, but how did you make a difference within those activities? All right. So we're looking at the right fit. We're looking at your courses, that difficulty rigor, your grades and GPA, test scores. Then we're looking at your character. And then you want to know what do you have to offer the college? So part of that with that extracurricular involvement is the colleges will see how you participated and gave back to your community or whether that be in your school or outside of the school. And so you are able to say, this is what I have to offer when I come here. And these are some of the ways that I would be able to get involved with. This is something I'm excited about. So colleges are looking at your academic abilities. They're looking at those grades. So your courses, that difficulty level, 
test scores, and then what you are able to show about your character. So this can feel sometimes a little bit overwhelming with trying to put everything in there. If you want to talk through this and dive deeper into this topic and what that means for you as a student or parents, if you want to have a conversation with you and your student, I am happy to set something up. If you send me a message that says deeper, so just send me a direct message in Facebook or on Instagram. Um, you can send me an email. It's admin at confused to ready .com, And I would love to schedule a free 15 minute conversation with you to talk exactly about what this, um, how this is going to look for you as an individual. I hope this has been helpful. Feel free to send me a message. I am on Instagram and Facebook at confused to college ready. And you also can find me on YouTube. If this has been helpful, please leave a comment. Let me know what other topics you would like to hear about. I look forward to seeing you next time. Take care. Thank you so much for listening to our podcast. Please subscribe so you don't miss any future episodes. You can find us on Instagram and Facebook at Confused to Ready and download our free guide on how to start or expand your college search at confusedtoready.com forward slash how to start.